Hey Logo Designers, today I would like to show you how you can customize what file formats are exported from Logo Package Express using the settings. The settings can be found by clicking the gear icon in the upper right corner of the Logo Package Express window. There are a number of tabs in the settings, but the first tab is the formats tab and this is what we're going to be focused on today. So there are two columns. There are print file formats and web file formats. And that's because with Logo Package Express, you can export logos for print and logos for use on the web. The print file formats are Adobe Illustrator, PDF, EPS, and JPEG. And by default, EPS and JPEG are unchecked. So if you want EPS or JPEG file formats in your logo package, you will have to come to this tab in the settings page and check those two file formats. The reason that JPEG and EPS are unchecked by default is because EPS is an older file format that doesn't get requested as often as it used to, and it takes a while to export. JPEGs are unchecked because usually a printer is going to want either a PDF an Illustrator file or an EPS file first before they would ask for a JPEG. But occasionally clients will ask you for a JPEG for printing. And in order to make sure that these JPEGs are print ready, they will be exported at 300 PPI, which is high resolution for print, and they will be exported in the CMYK color document mode. For the web file formats, we have Adobe Illustrator, SVG, PNG, and JPEG. The Adobe Illustrator files are not meant to be put on a website, but they can contain RGB information for designers who need to make additional web files. SVG is a scalable vector graphic format for the web. SVGs can be scaled up or down to any size without losing resolution. And then there's classic PNG and JPEG. These are your two raster file formats, and they are the most common file types for the web. You must always have at least one of these file formats in each column checked in order to export files for either print or web. But this tab in the panel gives you complete customizability over whatever file formats you want to include. Just check what you need and uncheck what you don't need and you'll be ready to export your logo files. Thanks.